Hello boys and girls, alien life forms, etc. Um, welcome to Warren's Model Aircraft. This is update three on the Edward BF 109E1. Um, I've done quite a bit since my last video. Um, last stage is that I was at, I think I just built the fuselage up, put the wings on. I think that's what was on my video. Um, since then, I've primed it in aluminium because I'm going to do the hairspray chipping technique. I've pre-shaded it. I've put a coat of clear on the pre-shade. Uh, the undercarriage, I have painted that in XF22, which is light blue, Tamiya. And that's done. And I've put two coats. I've put one coat of clear varnish on, and then I've put one coat of uh, the Accolade gloss. And that's that gloss varnish is ready for when I put the decals on. Um, tonight I'm going to mask up the top side of the aircraft. Oh, well, I'm going to mask up the bottom side of the aircraft ready for painting the dark green onto the top side of the aircraft, which I'm going to do tonight. Right then, um, and all my updates are going on um, my Strike Eagle model sharing um, site. Um, I've been putting like day-to-day -day updates on my Strike Eagle model sharing site, but I think I'm just gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna I'm gonna when I update on YouTube I'm gonna update on there, so I'm doing it like once a once every four days or a week instead of doing it every day because it's a bit repetitive to be honest. Right then, so I'll give you a quick glimpse of this. Move you over. We'll go round. There. Move the camera around. There we have. As you can see, I've done that. Looks different in the pictures to what it does on there. So that's got the clear varnish on. See the pre shading coming through. The tonal variations on the panels. That's what I was looking for. And I've done the uh, aluminium. Pre shade underneath. Um, you can actually do it the other way around. You can um, put the um, pre shade on afterwards for the chipping process, but I've done it this way. You know what I mean is by that I mean put the silver on first, varnish it, then put the pre shading on. So when you start chipping away with a cocktail stick or a cotton bud. It takes the pre-shade in a way, but not the silver. But the way I've done it, I'm going to go in between here. But if I actually go on the black, because it's got gloss on it, it will show the black and the aluminium on the chipping. So, if, But the way I'm going to be really careful, and I'll go in between the pre-shade, and I'll be okay. Yeah, so I'm going to get all this masked up tonight. Ready? Now I'm going to put this paint on it. And I'll show you the box art first. That, that's the box art. On the box it looks a bit greener than what it does on there. And the same there, on there it looks, it looks grey. And then on there it's green. Alright, so the first one I'm using is the black green. And that's supposed to be the light the lighter two colors of the two <clears throat> and this is the sorry that that's the darker one of the two what i'm doing and then that's the other one so those are the two colors i'm using which are xf27 black green and this one is dark green xf61 so there's the colors i'm using <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, so that, that's my update really, not that much to say, um, it won't take me long now, once I've got this um, masked up and painted tonight, I've just got to put the, the dark, the, the, sorry, the black green camouflage on and then I'll be varnishing and decaling and then it'll soon look like a proper aircraft. Um, not very happy with the cool up chart on here, it's black and white. As you can see, 
Hey, it's not very good at all. It's absolutely rubbish. Which I thought there might be a colour one on there, but there isn't. So, that's my progress, guys. I um, don't think there's anything else. Um, I'm liking everyone's new sites on um, Facebook. There's Stuart, Lenny Pro, UK Scale Modeler, there's Freddy, there's James, the list is endless and I can't remember all of them. Gil, um, there's absolutely loads and loads of them. Right then guys, I'll zoom out on this. Oh, say good night. I might put some uh, I might put some slides on the video. I don't know because on Facebook you can't make the videos as big as what you can on YouTube. Somebody told me that they uh, they've made they've done an update so you can do bigger videos. But this is the first time I've done it since the last one. <coughs> on my other one, I did. Uh, I think on YouTube you can do 2,000 gigabytes. But on YouTube at the time when I did my first video, I could only do a thousand gigabytes is it a thousand gigabytes no a thousand megabytes i think it was but isn't a thousand meg megabytes one gig anyway that's it yeah a thousand megabytes one gig and you can only do two gigabytes on youtube and on facebook it was one one gigabyte which is a thousand megabytes but hopefully they've updated that so oh yes and um steve as well the hangar deck um liking your site as well mate doing a good job on those kits right then thanks so much for watching boys and i'll see you on my next video to the loop